Well, time now is 637. Parents across North Alabama are facing some really tough challenges ahead of the fall reopening of schools. Yeah, while they're considering some options in schools like sending their kids to school, maybe virtual learning, some are also looking at the idea of homeschooling their children. Joining us right now to talk about that via Zoom is Dan Beasley. Dan's the attorney for the Homeschool Legal Defense Association. Dan, good morning. Good morning. Thank you for having me this morning. You bet. As you know, we're living in a very unique time where more parents, especially those who are staying at home teleworking, may be able to homeschool. Where would they even start here? Yes, that's right. We're hearing from many parents that are looking into homeschooling, and they can start by coming up with a, a brief plan and then making sure that they comply with the legal requirements for homeschooling in Alabama. Dan, what would you tell a parent who would like to homeschool their children, but they don't feel like they're equipped to help their kids with the coursework? Are there tutors or additional resources that can help them? Well, that's a common question that parents ask. They wonder, am I qualified? And the answer is, we can help. Uh, there are experienced homeschoolers in the area. There are subject matter experts. There are many resources today that can help equip parents to educate their children at home or their child at home. Um, if a parent wants to homeschool and is committed to doing it, we believe they can do it. And then, you know, Dan, there's the, the, the cost of homeschooling, paying for the materials and such. Talk us through that end of it. Sure. So, uh, obviously, the cost can vary from family to family and what curriculum they choose to use, but there are very affordable ways to homeschool. Uh, there are uh, affordable curriculum options. And our consultants specialize in talking with parents, listening to their situation, and making specific recommendations based on that, that family's uh, ability to, to purchase curriculum and so forth. Got to bring this up, playing mm -hmm. devil's advocate here. What about the argument <laughs> that if children stay at home, they miss out in socializing at regular school with, with other children? Sure, that's a great question. It's a common question that, that people have. I'm actually a homeschool graduate myself, so I was homeschooled as a student. And, and I'll say I really think it's a, it's a stereotype that's not accurate in fact. Uh, homeschooling families have lots of opportunities to interact through uh, homeschool support groups, through co-ops, through field trips, sometimes church events. Uh, there are many opportunities. Homeschool students are generally, generally very involved in their community, have lots of friends uh, in their community as well. And, and of what course, it does. I'm sorry. Go ahead, Dan. I was just going to say, of course, it does take effort on the parents' part to make sure they, they line those things up, but it, it happens um, all the time. You say it can be done. What about making sure that your child stays aligned as far as the educational requirements are concerned, matching it up to the state and so on while they're homeschooling? How do they do that? Well, homeschooling does provide more freedom and flexibility. It gives parents the ability to customize an educational experience that meets their child's personality and their interests. The same requirements that apply to public schools don't apply to homeschools. Of course, homeschool parents still have an obligation, a good faith obligation to provide their children with a, 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 a uh, well-rounded education, but it, they don't have to follow all the same uh, credit hour and curriculum requirements that are, that are mandated in public schools. Dan, we've got about 30 seconds left. You guys have a seminar coming up to help parents. If you could quickly hit those high points there for us. Sure, yes. We're going to be talking with a new uh, homeschooling parent who has lots of questions about qualification, about what should my curriculum look like? What should my child know? What about college? Is my homeschool graduate going to be able to go to college or, or get a job? Uh, we're going to address all of those common questions in an upcoming webinar. Uh, my, a, a senior counsel at our organization, Mike Donnelly, and myself will be there to answer some of the legal questions, and they'll also have one of our qualified education consultants there to help Sandra as well. Just another option for parents out there homeschooling. We're going to post, by the way, a link for that upcoming seminar and some other resources on our website after our program here. In the meantime, Dan Beasley with Homeschool Legal Defense Association. Thanks so much for joining us this morning. Thank you, Pat. It was a pleasure to be with you. We appreciate you. It is 641 on your Thursday morning.